I mean, it's critical. You know, our team, um, sometimes you don't get to feel the emotions of things when you're up in the box like uh, we are and I am up there. But you can feel that thing when things like that happen. It ignites your entire football team. We play great complementary football and what our defense was able to do, not only in creating havoc turnovers, but also doing that in their side of the field, which clearly led to uh, points for us and two possessions for sure. And, um, really got us going to be able to finish that football game where we wanted to in the fourth quarter. The unbalanced set, I guess, how long have you guys installed that? And I guess what does that just kind of give the offense? Well, um, we work on things when we need to work on things and install them as we need to. So those things come available to us. And it's certainly uh, when you have players like we do at offensive line with Joe Alt and Blake on our edges and stuff, there are certain things you want to do to put those guys in position to make plays. So if we got to move them around to do that, we do. Um, but that, that kind of gives us some things. We want to make sure we continue to put our guys in position for that, but also can be hopefully hard to prepare for week in, week out. Was that a play you were going to – Coach Freeman said you guys had that already in play, but was that a play you would have done regardless of whether or not there was a delay, or did the delay in any way kind of help? Talk hey, about the opener right out? Yeah. Yeah, we yeah it was part of our offense, just the, the play we already had in and installed and worked all week. And uh, we started with it and it went all right. So, but yeah, it was, was not something we added. It was, it was something we worked all week. Okay. What? At this point in the season, I guess, how do you grade Sam Hartman and his, and his offense, your offense, and uh, what do you see needs to happen, uh, make improvements as you get to the middle of the season? Well, like anything, there's always, you're either, you, you have to continue to grow and get better. Coach Freeman and I talked about it to our team today, like we have to, that's what a team, does a good football team becomes a great football team by getting bit better week in and week out. No different for Sam Hartman or any of our guys on offense. Um, what does that look like? It's continuing to, to define the details of what it is to make each of our plays work, but also then there's little just details of him that he does with Coach Gadouli, whether it be getting away from center and our under center packages, how we carry out our fakes, how we alert calls, how we push our IDs, all the things that it takes to be a great quarterback. So. Um, not to dodge the question, it's just all the little details that make it go, and then our entire offense has got to get better each week for us to get where we want to be at the end of the season. You did face some of that against NC State at different points in the game. Um, just take us through how proud you were with, with the way they handled that adversity for the first time this year. Yeah, I thought it was great uh, by our guys, and it's something that's needed. You know, it's not, uh, you wouldn't call it exactly stress free when those things happen, but it's got to happen in order for us to get where we want to go. And for our guys to kind of stand in that fire and not flinch and respond the way we know that they are, the great men that they are, it just allows you to keep on building. You know, I told, told the staff, it's kind of like you're unlocking a new key to your season. There's little moments like they happen, maybe with two minute, and then two minute turns into a week two and a week three, those things happen. Well, the same thing when you face adversity. When you stand in that fire, have success, and learn how to respond, it's not so hard to do so the next time either.